Gop senators on Thursday called for the Republican Senate candidate in Alabama to step down if a story containing sexual allegations against him is true. Roy Moore is accused of having an inappropriate sexual encounter with a 14-year-old girl in 1979, when he was 32. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell Addison Mitch Mitchell McConnell McConnell expects Paul to return to Senate next week. Former Hill staff calls for mandatory harassment training gaming the odds of any GOP tax bill getting signed into law more RKY and sense. Corey Gardner Corey Scott Gardner The Hills 1230 Report The Hills 1230 Report Don't blame megadonors for the GOP effort to repeal Obamacare More Arcolo, Lisa Murkowski Lisa Ann Murkowski Senators push mandatory sexual harassment training for members, staff gaming the odds of any GOP tax bill getting signed into law tax bill raises red flags for Senate GOP More Alaska, John Cornyn John Cornyn After Texas shooting, lawmakers question whether military has systemic reporting problem Overnight defense lawmakers question military lapse after Texas shooting Trump asks North Korea to make a deal Senate panel approves army pick overnight regulation House passes bill to overturn joint employer rule Trump officials to allow work requirements for Medicaid lawmakers alarmed by EPA's science board changes more are Texas Richard Shelby Richard Craig Shelby senators push mandatory sexual harassment training for members staff Justice Department drops case against woman who laughed at sessions former Hill staff calls for mandatory harassment training more Rala Susan Collins who San Margaret Collins bipartisan group of lawmakers aim to reform U.S. sugar program a bipartisan bridge opens between the House and Senate gaming the odds of any GOP tax bill getting signed into law more are main Jeff Flake Jeffrey Jeff Lane Flake Webb Trump year one senators propose closing domestic violence loophole after Texas shooting McSally tells GOP colleagues shall run for Arizona Senate more rarers Rob Portman Robert Rob Jones Portman bipartisan group of lawmakers aim to reform U.S. sugar program overnight Cybersecurity What we learn from Carter Page's House Intel Testimony House to mark up foreign intel reform law FBI can't access Texas shooters' phone sessions to testify at hearing amid Russia scrutiny Bottom line more Royo and David Perdue RGA all made similar statements, saying if the claims are true then more doesn't belong in the Senate. Sen. John McCain John Sidney McCain After Texas shooting, lawmakers question whether military has systemic reporting problem Overnight defense lawmakers question military lapse after Texas shooting Trump asks North Korea to make a deal Senate panel approves Army pick Web Trump Year one more errors, said the allegations were disqualifying. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell RKY told reporters that if these allegations are true, he must step aside. If there's any truth to those stories, he ought to step aside, Flake told reporters. Collins told reporters she was horrified to hear of the accusations, and also called on Moore to step down. Purdue called the accusations devastating. Corning called the allegations deeply disturbing. I think it's up to the governor and the folks of Alabama to make that decision as far as what the next step is, Corning told reporters. The allegations against Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore are deeply troubling, said Gardner, who is the chairman of the National Republican Senatorial Committee, in a statement. If these allegations are found to be true, Roy Moore must drop out of the Alabama special Senate election. If that's true he doesn't belong in the Senate, said Shelby, the senior Alabama senator. If what we read is true, and people are on the record so I assume it is, that he should step aside, said Portman. McCain was the first senator to call for Moore to step down based solely on the allegations against him. The Allegations against Roy Moore are deeply disturbing and disqualifying, McCain said in a statement. He should immediately step aside and allow the people of Alabama to elect a candidate they can be proud of. The Senate Republican backlash comes after the Washington Post reported that Moore took part in an inappropriate sexual encounter with an underage girl when he was in his early 30s. Lee Kaufman, now 53, said Moore made sexual advances on her when she was 14 years old. The newspaper also found three other women who said that Moore had approached them around the same time, when they were between the ages of 16 and 18. Moore's campaign have disputed the report calling it garbage that defines fake news. Judge Roy Moore has endured the most outlandish attacks on any candidate in the modern political arena, but this story in today's Washington Post alleging sexual impropriety takes the cake. Bill Armistead, Moore's campaign chairman, said in a statement, Moore is running against Democrat Doug Jones to fill Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Jefferson Jeff Beauregard Sessions Curtis wins Chaff former Utah House seat overnight cyber security what we learned from Carter Page's House Intel Testimony House to mark up foreign intel reform. Reform law FBI can't access Texas shooters' phone sessions to testify at hearing amid Russia scrutiny FBI can't unlock Texas shooters' phone Moray's former Senate seat.